Mali, history, geography, people, facts, economy. Hey there, let's take you to an African country whose name is a feminine nomenclature of Latin origin. The country with a name that would have meant industrious, striving and work if it were a girl. This is the country affectionately called the Land of Gold, thanks to its rich history of gold mining. We also join in calling it the Gateway to Africa, due to its strategic location. It's also what many of its fans call the Land of Timbuktu, in recognition of the great influence on ancient city has had on the country. Yes, we're taking to you nowhere else but to the black people living on a huge land in West Africa called Mali. Please come along. About Mali, location and size. Mali is one of the landlocked countries in West Africa. Officially known as the Republic of Mali, it shares its borders with Senegal and Guinea by the west, while the Niger Republic is toward the east. Its northern border is shared with Algeria, while its northwestern border is shared with Mauritania. It is bordered on the south by Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso. It occupies an area of about 479,245 square miles, ranking as the 8th most extensive country in Africa and the 23rd largest in the world. Though landlocked, about 1.6% of its area is covered by water. Based on the 2023 estimate, the population of Mali is about 21,359,722, making it the 61st most populous nation in the world and 19th most populous in Africa. Its annual population growth is 3.1%. Interestingly, the world's 61st largest country and Africa's 19th is ranked so high by total area. Thus, it shouldn't surprise you to learn that Mali is the 215th most densely populated country in the world with a density of just 30.3 per square mile. Bamako, the capital city, is also the largest in the country. It's one of Africa's fastest growing cities. French is the country's official language as with the majority of West African countries. However, Bambara, which is the most widely spoken African language in the country, is being tipped to replace French as the official language. In actual fact, over 80% of the people living in Mali can communicate in Bambara. So why French is the question. Geographical features of Mali Its coordinates are between latitudes 10 degrees and 25 degrees north and longitudes 13 degrees west and 5 degrees east. The line of equator separating the eastern and western hemispheres passes through the city of Gao in Mali. Droughts are very frequent in most of Mali as the country receives negligible rainfall annually. In the southernmost area, the rainy season is from late April to early October. This is when Niger usually floods, creating the Inner Niger Delta. Animals endemic to Mali are Mali firefinch, Mali lions, which are only found around the Farleen River now, the aquatics like the freshwater elephant fish, plus the Mali screeching frog and the butter marsh toad. Other animals, such as manatees living in the Niger River, are protected by law because they're threatened. That's why they're no longer hunted for their meat. Other endangered species found only in Mali are Adax, the chimpanzee, the Dame gazelle, the African wild dog and the rim gazelle. Also, a species of legume in the Fabaceae family can only be found in Mali, while other grasses are scattered throughout the country. History of Mali Mali was historically a center of civilization. It was settled as long ago as 50,000 BC. The Mali Empire, from which the present-day nation of Mali takes its name, was founded by Sundiata, also known as Mali's Lion King or Lion Prince. During his reign from 1235 to 1260, as the empire's first ruler, the empire stretched widely all the way to Africa's western coast. Though it's one of the world's poorest nations today, the Mali Empire previously ranked among the wealthiest in the world, thanks to its rich deposit of gold. During the Middle Ages, Mansa Musa, who was the 10th emperor of Mali Kingdom, was one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. Mali's famous Timbuktu University, one of the oldest and most popular universities, not only in Africa but also in the Middle East, contains proof of these. The Mali's Ghana Empire, according to the university, was one of the West Africa's first black empires and it became wealthy thanks to its position as a cross-Sahara trade route. France seized control of Mali during the scramble for Africa, the late 19th century colonial period. It then became a part of the French Sudan for almost a century. 
Then, in 1960, Mali joined Senegal to achieve independence as a nation known as the Mali Federation. However, Senegal later seceded from the Federation, and that changed the country's name to the Republic of Mali as we know it today. In 1991, Mali adopted a new constitution following a change from a socialist to a democratic state. Economy of Mali The average worker in Mali earns an annual salary of about $1,500. Actually, more than 50% of all Malians live below $1.25 daily, which is considered the global poverty line. Additionally, while Mali remains one of Africa's major producers of gold, ranking third after South Africa and Ghana, just about 10% of locals earn more than $2 daily, and over 70% earn less than $1. Fishing and agriculture are the main sources of income, and agriculture is the employer of more than 80% of the citizens. Seasonal variation in this industry always results in temporary unemployment. Based on the latest available estimate, the country's GDP based on PPP totals $56.05 billion, putting it in the 115th position worldwide. Per capita, Mali is in the 174th position with $2,609. It ranks even more poorly for the nominal GDP, which is $18.4 billion, putting it in the 123rd position, and per capita is only $858, which is worse at the 175th position. The most frequently exported natural resources in the country include gold, granite, kaolin, limestone, phosphates, salt and uranium. People of Mali The people born or living in Mali are called Malians, the country has one of the world's youngest populations, as some 67% of its population was below 25 years of age as of 2017. The median age of Malians is 15.9 years. The population is predominantly rural and roughly 10% are nomadic. No thanks to underdevelopment and poor healthcare, the country has one of the world's highest infant mortality rates. The average birth rate in Mali is six children per woman, and this is the third highest in the world. With this continued rapid population growth, the country's population is expected to double by 2035. In addition to the official languages, Bambara and French, Mali has 12 national languages, namely Bobo, Bozo, Dogon, Fula, Hassaniya, Arabic and Kasonke. Others are Maninka, Minyanka, Senufo, Songhe, Soninka and Tamashek in alphabetical order. Ethically speaking, based on the 2023 estimate, 33.3% of Malians are Bambara, 13.3% are Fula, 9.6% Senufo BWA, 8.8% Malinka, 8.7% Dogon, 5.9% Songhai, 3.5% Tureg, 2.1% Bobo, while the other minorities make up 4.5% of the population. Mali is predominantly a Muslim country, with 95% professing to belong to Islam, while various other religions in the country are practiced by only 5% of the population. Interesting facts about Mali Mansa Musa, the 14th century emperor of Mali, remains the richest man who ever lived. Mali has a wide variety of fresh fruits such as bananas, guava, mangoes, oranges, papaya and watermelons. But before peeling, you must wash them in bleach water. Women in Mali do all the work for their families, who in turn hold them in high regard. They're always consulted in community decisions since they symbolize harmony and peace. Soccer is the most popular sport in Mali, and most popular soccer teams are based on Bamako. The Wari game is also a common pastime. Mali is home to two critically endangered, three endangered, ten vulnerable and three near-threatened species of the 146 mammal species. The legal drinking age in Mali is 18 as a predominantly Muslim nation. Though not totally prohibited, locals discourage drinking alcohol by beatings and arrests. Literacy rates in the country range from 27 to 46 percent. School enrollment in Mali is at 61 percent for primary school and 15 percent for secondary school. Most of the economic activities in the county are conducted in the area the Niger River irrigates as some 65% of the land is desert or semi-desert. A new Islamist group recently emerged in central and southern Mali that recruits by protecting rural dwellers from bandits and corruption in the government. You're welcome back. These facts about Mali are well verified. If, however, you have a question, suggestion or comment, 
please don't hesitate to drop it here in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.